I am going to switch to English again and continue with another very special prize at the Doc Forum. And this is the British Pathé Archive Award. This prize uh, is given out for the second time this year. <laughs> And it honors projects with a large proportion of archive material and thus strengthens a documentary genre rich in tradition. Yeah, and also like the winning project will receive British Pathé archive material worth 14,000 euro or alternatively 2,500 euro in cash. And we are very happy to have British Pathé as a partner for this very important award. And I'm delighted to welcome with us today, Simon Witter of British Pathé, who will now join our digital space here. Welcome, Simon. I'm very happy to be here. It's lovely year two of this award. And um, yeah, thank you for all your good work. It's, it's great to be here. British Pathé is a, is a newsreel film archive that has the news of the 20th century and we largely these days provide that to filmmakers and documentarians looking to enrich their projects in various ways. Uh, we started this award last year as a way of um, stimulating young filmmakers and guiding them into the world of archive, putting the spotlight on archive, and also encouraging more established filmmakers who are already working with archive, doing interesting things with it. And in the process, of course, trying to make more relationships with filmmakers in the German speaking world. We have, um, we do quite good business with Germany, but it's always nice to do more and to meet people. And of course, it's one of the great things about DocFest has been every year meeting people and through the award where we have five really high quality finalists each year, it, it just intensifies that whole process. And uh, we always fall in love with all of them each year and end up basically in a sort of investment for the future with everyone and try to help them all out. Of course, there can only be one winner. We had five times as many entrants this year as we had last year. So things are going in the right direction. And um, at a time when, because of the COVID lockdown, we're, uh, you know, just busier than we've ever been, which is kind of strange. It was really nice to meet young, you know, exciting filmmakers whose work will be coming up in, in the years ahead and to be associated with them is also, though, we're particularly excited to be attached to the film that won this year. Yeah, I heard it was not an easy decision, so maybe it's time to introduce uh, Anke Hahn, who's head of the film dis head of film distribution at the German Cinematheque, and was one of the four people who had the pleasure to um, pick one of the projects. And uh, so it was welcome, Anke. Hi. So it was you um, together with also Patrick Hurl, CEO of Authentic Distribution and Monika Preischel, who is an archive researcher, and you, Simon, you were also part of the jury. Yeah, and we've been talking about those great project, project and how hard it was to decide, Anke. Can you let us know a bit about that, maybe? Yes, as Simon already said, uh, there were five really wonderful projects, and it was really, really hard to decide uh, which project should win because all of them had such an uh, inspiring approach to using footage, to using historical, uh, historic material. And uh, so we had a long discussion and uh, yeah, it was hard to decide. But you managed, right? <laughs> yes, we did, finally. Okay, so maybe it's time to let the audience know. Anka, I, I heard you have something there which you yes, want to hand here, over to Simon, right? The envelope. <laughs> At, uh, the winner this year of the British Pathé Archive Award is Queen of Chess from Hungary. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. Congrats to the winning. Congratulations. Team. Congrats, Queen of Jazz, uh, the director Bernadette Tutsa Ritter, and also the co producer Sophie Lili Kovac. And we have the pleasure to welcome you now in the digital space. Um, at least Sophie will be there with us tonight, right? And uh, Bernadette uh, had no time, but there is Gabor Hami, the writer and creator of the project. So. Now we have them here. Now we know who won the prize. Can you let us know why? Yes, I'm happy to read the statement of the jury. 
Um, Queen of Chess tells the unbelievable and largely forgotten story of Hungarian Judith Polgar, who, as a young girl, was able to achieve fame in the male-dominated world of chess. Enriched by extensive archive material, it weaves an unlikely but true tale of power in all its complexity. Historic footage that draws us into the world of late communist Hungary is interwoven with home movies from the Polgar family's private archive, as well as television reports of competitions with that era's chess world champions like Gary Kasparov to create both an intimate portrait of an extraordinary young woman and a journey through time to a period of historic upheaval. The jury found the virtuoso handling of eclectic archive material particularly convincing in the way that the historic and largely unknown shots constitute the primary narrative level. Also very promising is the manner in which the film expands on the different facets of this child prodigy story. The father's bizarre upbringing experiment, gender relations, the idiosyncratic world of chess, the tension of tournaments and the social and political circumstances, all of these are reflected in the biography of this extraordinary woman. Queen of Chess is an exciting expression of Hungary's new independent cinema and a project that all of the jury can't wait to see realized. Congratulations. Congrats, also from Congrats. our side. <laughs> thank sure. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, thank you very much uh, for the prize. We are very humbled and we are very happy that uh, amongst these great projects we could be uh, uh, present and, uh, and uh, we, we so much like this project and we are so happy that we have this feedback that you also like it. Yes, our project is an archive heavy project. Um, when I started writing the first uh, drafts of, uh, of uh, concepts, then, uh, then I wanted to make it into a fiction story. But then when I started to, re uh, to, to check the, the archives online, then I realized that uh, it's already been shot once. So why should I, why should I think about fiction? Yeah, there's a, a big job ahead of you all. <laughs> Yeah, Sophie, as a co-producer based in Berlin, what, uh, how can the prize now contribute to that work, to that project? I mean, the, the prize will help our crew uh, enormously um, because uh, by supporting our project, it means already at this development uh, stage, it means that uh, all the topic we are uh, dealing with in this project, uh, they have high relevance. And this is for us, as uh, Gabor said, um, a very important um, yeah, feedback. And uh, not to mention the fact that uh, working with British Pate, uh, like setting up this co-production uh, co or this cooperation is really something we are very looking forward to. We, I think we all are yeah. looking forward to it, to the finished film. Hope to have it in our festival program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, keep an eye on it. I think in a couple of years' time, we're all going to say we were there at the beginning. Uh, okay. okay. And I said this at the time when we were in the, in the jury room, because it's such an amazing story, this thing. It, it really, when we first saw it on paper, we weren't, you know, we didn't know. And then we saw the trailer and the pitch. And we're just completely blown away, all of us. And for me, I, I worked for a long time in the music industry. And I remember eight years ago, going to an early screening of Searching for Sugar Man before anyone had seen that film and walking out thinking, how is it possible that a story this good exists still and no one's told it yet? And I had exactly the same feeling after the pitch the other day, that how is it possible that this is out there and no one has really told this story before? So I think they have a lot of challenges ahead, you know, making this as good as it can be. But it's just a winner from the get-go. The whole, that multi-level story is, is just amazing. And, um, you know, as, as we said in the statement, we're all really looking forward to seeing this, however long it takes. I think that's very good words to wrap up the session. Thank you, Simon. That's a huge compliment to the two of you, three of you. 
Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks for participating and have all a nice evening. Bye-bye.